about 15 years ago, I went to Ireland on retreat and I thought I was going to become enlightened and I got a big surprise. I rented a cottage on Ackle Island, sight on scene, and it ended up to be haunted, if you like, by leprechauns, a leprechaun family. And the locals in the village knew well that the cottage was haunted and they said to me, did you know you're not only living in a haunted cottage, you're living on a whole haunted lane. And this started a long relationship with me with elementals, something that was very unexpected. I thought that my work in the world was to work with Mother Earth and transformation of humans. I had no idea that I would end up working with elementals. But the journey has been full of surprises and full of joy and full of some interesting upheavals as well, I'd say, in my own life. And so I thought I would say a little bit about elementals. Elementals are also called nature spirits. Uh, you hear about them around the world. All native peoples talk about them, and there are sightings all over the world. In New Zealand, they're called the children of the mist. And a lot of people refer to them also as the little people. In Ireland, the ancient ones were called the Tuatha de Danann. And they are here with us now. Elementals, there would be no life here on our wonderful earth if it weren't for elementals. They grow the plants and the trees. They grow the uh, flowers, but there are also elementals that look after the sky and the clouds and the weather systems, great divas that take water from one place and up into the clouds and transfer it somewhere else where it's needed on the earth. And there's elementals of the water as well. They're called undines, that's one of the words for them. And they are in, found in the roaring seas, and they're found in the waterfalls, and they're found in little rivers and little streams as well. And so everything that is alive has elementals. We even have a body elemental that grows us. And elementals see what we are to become. They look at a flower and they see what is that flower to become, to become its own unique flower. And this is their purpose on earth, to uh, grow nature, to work with nature, to work with consciousness in nature, and to grow us. And so most of us, if we have an experience with elementals, will end up having an experience with earth elementals. And some of the names they're called by are leprechauns in Ireland, as my leprechaun friend, and I won't give his name because that's a secret. We just call him Lloyd um, because he doesn't want a whole bunch of people calling on him. Leprechauns are kind of secretive. Um, but there are also gnomes, and there are brownies in England. There are trolls in Norway. Uh, there are red caps. Uh, in Cornwall, they're called pixies. Um, so you can find these everywhere you go. And elementals can travel in space and time. They are not limited to uh, uh, going by airplane, if you like. They just have to think about where they want to go, and then they can go there. So we can have immigrant elementals, is what I'm saying. You can have leprechauns that decide they want to come to Canada, and you can have trolls from Norway that are immigrating to Australia. And people, when they're wanting to work with elementals, regardless uh, what country they find themselves in, they may get an elemental of a different country as a friend that wants to work with them to help the earth.